It was an emotional day inside a Raleigh courtroom. A man pleaded guilty to charges for a head on crash that killed 25 year old twin sisters, Kayla and Morgan Kushner. 23 year old Griffin Curtis will spend between 16 and 23 years in prison. He admitted to smoking marijuana and drinking before the crash last year. WRL's Shelly Jackson spoke with the twins loved ones today who say this outcome will not bring Kayla and Morgan back. It was a very emotional and powerful day here in the Wake County Justice Center. Nearly 100 people packed the courtroom, mostly to support the Kushner and Callan families. Mary Kushner had strong words for the man responsible for killing her twin 25 year old daughters. Griffin Curtis, I hope to God that you're hearing me. Dozens of people packed the courtroom, sharing photos and stories about Kayla and Morgan and how they had touched their lives. They were better people than I could ever hope to be and surely the nicest and most loving people I have ever met. Their hearts were absolutely pure. People in the crowd wiped away tears and put their arms around each other as they listened to Brennan Kalen, Kayla's boyfriend who was severely injured, talk about the love of his life. I felt like the luckiest man on the planet. The defendant, Griffin Curtis, staring straight ahead during impact statements until the girl's parents started talking. No one is the same. I am not the same. Mary is not the same. Many asking the judge for the maximum sentence for Curtis, saying he made a choice to drive impaired. Griffin, after what you have done, I am asking Judge Ridgeway to give you the most extreme punishment allowed because you killed two people. Curtis did address the family. So sorry, I took more than a kill from you. They did not deserve to die that day. And I wish I could change my life to theirs. This case is the sum of a parent's greatest fears. Curtis will serve a minimum of 16 and a half years behind bars. I don't know if I can trust his remorse. And it's, it's like no sentence will ever be enough because it won't bring them back. And I don't think there will be enough time served uh, that would be possible for Griffin Curtis. Yeah, and there's nothing, nothing, there's no punishment he could receive. There's nothing we could receive um, that would ever make us happy. Now, the Kushner family says they hope to start a foundation in their daughter's memory, but first they have to get through some civil proceedings. Shelley Jackson, WRAL News, Raleigh.